The final day of Paris-Nice rarely disappoints, and the 2022 edition was certainly no different. 115 kilometers, five climbs, heading out via the Var River and heading up into the arrière pays of Nice, the hills behind the city in the southeast of France. The race would finish with one ascent of Coldes and its famous descent back into town and a finish on the Promenade des Anglais. Only 89 riders left in the race at the start and it was soon whittled down to an elite group at the front. No breakaway allowed to go, but there were mechanical problems aplenty with the rain and the weather conditions also affecting things. Pierre Latour suffered a mechanical. He would have failed to regain contact with the front of the group. And Omar Fraile, with 50 kilometers to go, set up Danny Martinez for an attack as Primoz Roglic and company were forced to respond. Roglic had lost Steven Krausveik and Rowan Dennis. Martinez attacking, Quintana trying to go with him, and suddenly Primoz Roglic only had Wart van Aert for company in terms of teammates. Simon Yates followed well, second in the GC at 47 seconds before the day. Quintana a little further back but looking for a stage win. Martinez in third place, Yates, his teammate in fourth, losing contact too. Over the penultimate climb of the day they would go. And a top group of five riders already in the lead with 46 kilometers to go and a gap of 50 seconds. On to the final sprint at La Turbie and there'll be three bonus seconds for Simon Yates. Two going the way of Danny Martinez. Yates at 44 seconds from Roglic's lead after that point. Then disaster for the Colombian Martinez. A back wheel puncture a blowout on the descent and he would not see the front of the race again either. There were nervous moments all the way into the foot of the Coldes. Martinez would be at just under a minute back and on the race's signature climb, six kilometers long, 7.6%, Quintana would be the first to try his luck. Wout van Aert seemingly in a little bit of trouble here, but he'd grit his teeth. Quintana would be caught, and then Simon Yates would go with 19 kilometers to the finish. Yates started rather quickly to pull out a good advantage. 20 seconds came as much as 29 at some point. Remember, with the 10 bonus seconds as well, Simon Yates getting close to overturning the deficit. Roglic in trouble, Quintana dropped. Wout van Aert did a great job, though, to keep the gap stable. And just over 20 seconds when they began the descent back into the city. Two against one, though, was always going to produce a result favourable for Jumbo Visma. That happened in terms of the general classification. But Simon Yates absolutely superbly held on for what would be Another Paris stage win, a fourth stage win in four different editions at Paris and a second place for the second time in his career in the GC. Yates winning for the first time since last May at the Giro d'Italia and ending the week in second. Primoz Roglic striking a big blow to the rest of his rivals who might have been hoping that once again he was going to crumble on the final day of a French stage race. Simon Yates with a huge victory and Primoz Roglic overcoming a big psychological barrier. Martinez would come home in the bunch behind and finish third on the GC. Yates second, just under half a minute the difference as Primoz Roglic would hold on. So Yates winning by nine seconds from Fanart and Roglic. McNulty bringing home the rest at a minute and 44. Yellow for Roglic then, Wat Fanart proving the most valuable of teammates. And a first World Tour stage race win on French soil for Primoz Roglic, his 15th stage race win in his career, one of the biggest in terms of what it might have meant with the possibility of another last day collapse. 29 seconds, his margin of victory. Yates in second, Martinez third. Roglic with a stage race win and victory in the race to the sun. Wat van Aert would end the week in the green jersey. Stage win for him along the way as well. And a day in the yellow jersey is Joao Almeida 
took the white jersey. Valentin Madoua salvaged something after a poor week for Groupama FDJ. That's something the King of the Mountains jersey. So a big week in Paris-Nice, ending on the Promenade des Anglais for the first time in three seasons. The race back at home and entertainment as always on that final day. Roglic and Yates providing it. Roglic taking yellow, Yates with the stage honours.